In this video, I'll show you how to remove and reattach a tripod head. My head is the Manfrotto 128RC and the tripod is the 190X. The first thing I'm going to do is take the scope off of the head. You do that by unlocking the safety here and then using this lever. This isn't necessary, but it's probably a good idea. The next thing I'm going to do is raise the center post by unlocking this knob here and raising it all the way up. On the underside of the head, you'll see there's a screw and we need to remove that. You can use any small flathead screwdriver, but I'm going to use this part of my Swiss Army knife. Once you've unscrewed it most of the way, you can finish up by using your fingers. That way you don't drop it on the floor and lose it. And here's the screw. I've now lowered the center post back down and you can see as we twist this, the tripod head is rotating but we don't want that because we want to unscrew the whole thing. And to do that, we need to lock it as tight as it goes. So we're going to turn this to the right as far as it'll go. So now if I try to move the handle, it won't move. But if I give it a nice sudden jerk, the whole thing will come loose and I can unscrew the entire head. And it'll come off just like that. Now that the pieces are separate, we can see how they work. We can see this hole here is where that screw that we took out actually comes up through and we can see that it fits into these grooves on the tripod head. To put the tripod head back on, we just reverse the process. We just line that hole up with the screw on top of the tripod and just spin it. And remember, we want this to be completely tightened, so spun all the way to the right. That way the tripod head is not spinning within itself, but rather it is screwing and locking onto the tripod base. And once it's tightened all the way, we can go ahead and loosen this part back up. So now we can pan left and right. And no matter how many times we do that, the tripod head will not be unscrewing from the base. Now it's time to put this little screw back in. So go ahead and raise the center post up as high as it'll go. And we'll put the screw back in. And this is one of the trickier steps in the process. So you may want to actually flip the tripod upside down. That way you can put the screw in a little bit easier without it falling on the floor. Now that I've got the screw started, I'll go ahead and use my screwdriver to tighten it the rest of the way. And it should turn very easily. So if you're having difficulty turning it, it might not be lined up straight. So you might have to take it out and put it back in. Okay, and once you've got it in there all the way, you'll feel the pressure. You won't be able to turn it any farther and you can see it's actually recessed in there a little bit. And once we do that, we're all done and we can attach our scope back onto the tripod head. And once the scope is back on, don't forget to engage the safety mechanism. That way we don't accidentally hit the lever and unlock the scope. That's how you remove and reattach a tripod head. If you like this video, please give it a like. And for more birding content, please subscribe. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.